ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paulo Junior. I'm from Comprov. I work in Brazil. And today I will present the realistic methodology for fault location and protection tests based on the traveling waves. First of all, the power system must be better and smarter every day. And travel waves technology can help this occur by a faster trip and a high accurate fault location. The fault on the transmission line will generate transient waves that propagate to the close to light speed for both ends. Measuring the TW arrival time, it's possible to calculate the fault location. To verify that travel wave performance, it's very important to test. But how? In the past, it was used two different approach using digital simulator or pulse generation, but no solution completely meets. About the fidelity, one uses real waveform created by modeling the system, and the other uses artificial pools that not occur in practice. The injection level simulator just injects up to 10 volts and cannot be connected directly to the ID. On the other hand, pulse generator uses secondary level output for current and volts, and it's linked to the test the input circuit of the device under test. Using simulator, you have to bypass the input circuit. In contrast, the other technology can connect it directly to the ID. About portability, simulator racks is usually big and heavy. The other is lightweight. So it's not a good choice to go on site with the first approach. The second one, it's easier to care. It is a high investment to buy the first, is still the second, it is the best value for money. Contrage, simulator can export contrage files with TW content. Artificial pulse methods do not have the travel wave on the contrage files. To do a sensitive test, the magnitude of travel wave can be changed with the resistance. Simulator can do this. Otherwise, pulse generation do not change the amplitude of fault parameters. About reflections, the first solution can reproduce several, while the other uses capacitor discharge that limit the number of re reflections. Concerning line models, simulator use frequency dependent model. However, pulse generator just based on the propagation time and do not have complex and accurate model. You can see the pros in green and the cons in red. Why don't you use the best of the two solutions? Here, where the magic takes place, the CETW1. It generates way, real waveform with secondary level that fits the ID inputs and permit to test the input circuit. It's lightweight and can be carried to test on site. With the best value for money, can export contrade TW and megahertz waveform, can import contrade to playback it too. In addition to import contrade to analyze the fault on the Billy and Lats diagram. With CETW1, you can do sensitive tests and reproduce several reflections. Last but not least, the solution use frequency dependent phase domain line model. The PSMU Power System Simulator software is a dedicated software for simulation of electromagnetic transients developed over about 15 years. With a user-friendly interface and a library with more than 400 components, including components to simulate distributed energy resource like wind farms and solar panels, and including the purely and last diagram for TW analyze. The software communicates with the test sets allowing reproduction and acquisition of simulated signals. In addition to, it's performed the closed loop test. The case study, it was modeled in a software, a Brazilian power system with 230 keyVs, changing the fault type, fault location and incident angle. 
it was done 57 test scenarios, repeating three times each, add up to 171 tests. Same tests were performed on three commercial IEDs, totalizing 513 tests. Here in the screen of the model system. In the middle, we have the transmission line, frequency dependent model, and circuit breakers of each side and the CTs and VTs of each side. It was modeled the bus bar capacitance too, that's real important for the TW simulation and equivalent of the rest of the circuit. Here we have a detailed scenario of one injected test. An A2 ground fault in substation one on 35% location and incident angle of 30 degrees. Above, you can see the voltage and below the current sign. With a zoom, you can see the waveform and the high frequency in details. The test results of the three IEDs. In the graph, you can see the horizontal axis default location in percentage with 5% step and the vertical axis, the error in meters. First, the fault A to ground in blue color, the results of the ID A. In red, the results of the ID B. In the green, the results of the ID C. Another fault type, a PC to ground fault. Here is the result of the three IEDs. And the third file type, a three phase file, and all results were shown. It's important to comment that in some case we found zero meters error were mentioned. Impedance fault location error were also cataloged. Comparison of error behavior between methods for A to ground fault in IDB. In purple, the fault location using impedance method, and in red, the fault location using travel wave, showing the high precision of TW technology. Conclusions. It was done 513 test injection. Most location error in meters was less than 0.15%. TW location error are in order of meters, while impedance reaches the order of kilometers. It is very important to test the ID in real conditions. Power system simulator with reliable models of electrical system components resulting in realistic waveform. CETW1 proved to be a very powerful tool to its ability to generate voltage and current at the secondary level in megahertz. Thank you for your attention.